Hi everyone, this is Nikash here. I'm back with a different problem today. So before digging into today's problem, let me give you a recap about the things what I had shared in the previous video. So if you see on my channel, I have a couple of playlists, Facebook interview questions and lead code solutions, right? I'm planning to add many more playlists here, company wise and for system design and for leadership principles. So there's more content coming up. And also just to remind you about my Facebook page, TechyTux. So if you can see here, so, so this TechyTux page can be one stop for everything. So I'll be posting all the links here of all the solutions what I'll be posting on my YouTube channel. So if you can see, I've already posted a few videos and you can use this page to connect with me. So you can send a message or you can email me at techytex at gmail.com. I'm pretty responsive here. And not wasting much time, let's dig into today's problem. So today's problem is group anagrams. So if you can see here, this is one of the famous question asked in multiple fan companies, right? Amazon, Apple, Uber, Microsoft, Google, Facebook. So I have, I have chosen this problem because whatever interviews I have given in last couple of years, I have seen that this is one of the most common question. Okay. So if you can see the problem statement is something like this. So given an array of strings, group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order. Okay, an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. Okay, so let's go with the example and then we can understand better. So before that, anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word. For example, if you see EAT, this contains the letters E, A and T, right? And if you, uh, if you see the word T, it contains T, E, A. So these both are anagrams of each other because these two words can be formed by using the same characters. Those are the three characters, A, E, and T. So we have to basically group such strings which are anagrams of each other. So in, in the first example, if you see, we have like six strings given, but these can be grouped into three different categories. So the first one is, B A T, which contains the characters A, B, and T, and none of the other strings in the given example are can be formed by using these three characters. So that's the reason that goes into the first bucket. The next is N A T and T A N. So if you see the common word letters here are A and, and T, and no other word apart from Nat and Tan can be formed by using these three characters. And same goes with these three. Yeah, so how, how do you solve this problem? So what's the intuition behind the solution? Oh, so I'll be explaining that shortly and then we can go ahead and code the solution as well, okay? Okay, now let's see how do we come up with a solution for this, right? So first, let's think it through. What exactly do we need to do? Basically, first we need to take every string and compare with every other string, right? So how do you compare? The easiest way to compare is basically start, sort the string, okay? So the first logic is sort. So how is sort useful here? So if you sort this one, what you'll get is A, E, T. And if you sort this one, you'll get the same set of characters in a sorted way, right? So now when you compare these two, you see these are equal, right? Now you can say that these two are belonging to the same group, right? Or same bucket, or you can say these two are anagrams of each other. So that's the first one. But let's say you take this one, right? Tan. When you sort this, you get A, n and t right but this is not equal to any of these so you need to have a place where you can store this for future strings okay so that's where our second data structure comes into picture the second one is map so basically we'll use these two ideas to sort our, solve our problem so let's go over the example and see how we can sort as well as how we can use a map to solve this problem okay so here is our my map so map has basically key and value in my case key will be sorted string okay and vector will be a group of strings okay so let's say let's go over the example so first string what i am getting is eat right so as soon as i take a string the first thing what i do is i sort it a e t so once i do a sort i basically go and do a lookup in my map if it is present or not if it is present add it add the original string as a value to this particular key Okay, if not, then create a new entry. So in this case, it's not there. So I'll create a new entry with sorted string. Okay, uh, let me take a different color. So as I said, when we do a lookup in the map, 
it's not present so what we do is basically we create a new entry with sorted string as a key a e t and an empty vector right so now you know this string is formed by using these characters so you can add that to your vector e a t okay so now you move forward you take your second string which is t okay once you sort this you get the same set of characters now when you do a lookup it's already present right so basically at that time you don't do add a new entry but you just add this to your existing vector which is the value of the sorted string so you will add t here okay next we'll take time once you sort this you will get a and t this again it's not present so you will make a new entry a and t and create a new empty vector as a value and then add this one to the vector t a n okay now let's take the fourth string which is eight so again once you do a sort once you perform sorting on this you, what you'll get is a e t so if you see this is already present in your map so basically you'll go ahead and add eight here okay next you go forward nat which brings to a and t and you'll go ahead and add nat here because it's already present whereas sixth one is bat what you'll do is you'll sort you'll get a b t it's not there in the map you'll add a new entry a b t and bat as the value now all you have to do is basically go traverse the map and print every group so first group e a t t and 8 and so on okay the order doesn't matter so it doesn't matter if you are using a sorted map or unsorted map so you can just use an unsorted map here but yeah this is one of the easiest way to solve the problem and next i'll be writing the code for this so please do watch till the end and i'll be explaining the time complexity as well at the end of the solution also if you have any questions regarding this solution do let me know at uh, in the comment section below or on the techie tax page which i have shared the link in the description also keep watching and keep learning every day as i've already explained the logic and the thought process behind the logic so now let's go ahead and write the code for this okay so as you can see the return is vector of vector so we initially take that and as i've already explained in the logic that we'll be using a map so i'll take an unordered map So the key will be a sorted string and value will be a vector again. Let's call this as M. So now let's iterate over our input. So as I said, for every input, we need to sort first. Okay. So let's take a temp string, which will be equal to the current string what we are at. And we'll sort it now we need to check if it is there in the map or not m dot find if it is not there then it's a new entry so for new entry we need an empty vector as a value so let's make this two and we'll add it the sorted string as a key an empty vector as a value okay now we know the current string to which we sorted is one of the value formed by the characters in the sorted string so we'll do m of temp dot push back Here of SFI. Okay, so now by end of this for loop, we have our map populated. So all we need to do is just populate the result now. For that, I need an iterator to go over my map. time we need to populate the result with the vector what we have found so vector will be the second value okay. 
after this just return the result so this is a simple code let's run it Oops, okay we missed an i here okay okay this for passes for the base case let's submit and see if it passes for all the cases looks like it passes okay and now let's see what's the time complexity for this right so let's say the n is the size of vector okay and k is the size of biggest string in the input okay so if you see for the first time we go through the size of the vector right so initially so for the first loop we have a time complexity of o of n and inside this we do a sort for every string and for sorting the time complexity is k log k right so it will be so overall our time complexity is o of n k log k n k log k okay where n being the size of the input vector and k being the size of the largest string in the given input okay so yeah this is the solution and do let me know if you have any concerns or questions regarding this solution or if you want me to solve any particular problem uh, do let me know in the comment section below or as i've shared before you can connect with me via the techie text page i have the link in the description below as i always say keep learning every day thank you bye bye